Oh, a door. <coughs> oh, an elevator. Ooh, is this gonna be like the elevators of Ninja Turtles, and then the Foot Clan's gonna pop up, and you're gonna have to kill them while the elevator's still going? No, I don't think so. Not that no. lucky. Wishful thinking. Mm-hmm. Crossfire! Yeah, I get caught up in the... Crossfire! Let's see. Um, well, the elevator's back there. So that wasn't the elevator we needed to go on. That was a Trixie false elevator. Which made no sense, but okay. Um, do I have to ride that elevator back down in order to get off the stupid thing? Mm. That's some that's some smart level design, boys. This better be a short ass elevator ride. Okay, good. Yeah. Good. It's so weird that they decided to put an elevator there instead of say like stairs. Uh, anyway, okay. So this is the real elevator. Ooh. Hmm. The really real elevator. Liar, do you have anything that's better for you? I find it hard to, um... I'm not switching off my master gear now. I find it hard to believe that I haven't found something better for, um, Liar to wear. But, oh well. Maybe I'll get some light armor for her sometime during this mission. Well, gee, Shepard. I had thought you would be better for me, but apparently you had a disagreement about that. Liara, you're better as a friend. This place still you're has also power. creepy. It must be running off its own generator. This must be the command center for the entire complex. Saren's troops must have sealed the doors from here after he went inside. We will have to figure out how to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get inside that bunker. Okay. Quiet. Kill them oh, Geth Prime. Hi, Geth Prime. Oh, dear. Uh, there's the Shock Trooper. Let me see if I can snipe this guy in the face. You know, as far as Autobot leaders go, this Prime is probably the worst. Countermeasure deployed. Damn it! That was the worst shot I've ever had. repair system. Oh! Whoa! That's ours now! Sweet! Okay, well that's cool. We have a, we have a buddy. That means that, okay, I know what this is gonna, I know what this is gonna be. We need to hack all of these because once we start diddling with this console, we're probably gonna get... Fuck! Damn it. <laughs> no! Oh, no! Come on! Game. Well, we do have a crap load of Omni Gel. Yeah, I know. It's just not as fun. Mm. Huh. Weird path up here. Okay. I have no idea what this is even for. Like, if you want to, like, shoot from the high ground? Yeah, I guess so. I guess that makes sense. Oh, cool. We can hack two more of these and get more buddies to fight for us. Off oh, crap! I hate that. I'm bad. Where's where was the last one? I was over here somewhere. There it is. <laughs> We're not even gonna try. <laughs> not even, not even Karen. Not even Karen. A little bit Jessica, but not even Karen. That was a dumb joke. I know. I'm aware. Um, all right. Security panel. I didn't get it because I don't. Come, Saren already no. has a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. 
Unless he's already found it. Then we're just walking into a trap. Yep, just found it. Might as well uh, we not try to trip the trap here. Something's it's a pretty good trap. Too late. Unable to invading fleets. No escape. It sounds like some kind of message, but I don't recognize the language. It is probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we cannot understand it. I understand it. it might just be a mo tr movie trailer for a Roland Emmerich flick. Some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Of course. Between the beacons and the cipher, an understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fought Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. I'm only getting small bits. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped. Hulkamania is coming to your stadium. <laughs> yeah, it kind of was kind of that voice, wasn't it? <laughs> oh dear. Well, are you guys having fun back there? I guess so. I was expecting a wave to attack me after that, but apparently yeah. not. Are they gonna, like, come, uh, like, the next time we're attacked? Is there gonna be, like, a cutscene where we watch them arrive or something? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I think we did that for no reason. What? I we am spent confused. spent 75 Omnigel. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think you were supposed <laughs> to activate them during the fight. Maybe, but... During? Who's gonna hack during a combat? Flashback to my Bioshock playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, awkward. What kind of stupid sissy pants asshole hacks during combat? Wait a minute. We were here. Yeah. Did, did, did we do it? Oh yeah, or we're supposed to get back to the Mako? Oh! Good idea. The firepower will come in handy. Oh, we did actually override the security. Oh, that's good. Okay. Because I would have hated to have to walk all the way the fuck back around. <laughs> I have spent my life studying the Protheans, but I never dreamed I would discover anything like this. This bunker might have been the last refuge of their entire species. Just imagine what mysteries it might hold. Imagine what secrets it might reveal. Please, try to remember why we're here. Saren, the conduit, the fate of the entire known galaxy? I am sorry. I was swept up in- What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of containers? They look like stasis pods. The Protheans probably tried to keep themselves alive through cryogenic freezing. Whoop! And Ali, you. GTA 5 really has like the best conversation interrupt mechanic, I think, from what I've seen in video games. Mm -hmm. When you mean conversation interrupt? When you're driving and you have a guy in your passenger seat talking with you, um, if you get hit. Or if you start shooting or cops come up or something, like, there's always, like, the conversation immediately gets interrupted and your passenger will exclaim something in reaction to what happened. But then, happening? after it's over... It's a trap! Saren must have set an ambush! I do not think Saren is behind this. After, what's, after the event is over, your the conversation will resume on the exact same line. You won't miss a word. Ah, that's good. Whereas Tally just completely interrupted Liara, like, mid-sentence, and, and we never went back to hear what she said. Yeah. They should have programmed it so there was no way you could drive too far before the next conversation started. I have studied the Protheans for decades, but I have never felt this sense of foreboding. What will we find down there? Whatever we find, be cautious. If this were simply an automated trap, Saren would have... 
triggered it as well. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. This is incredible. An actual Prothean VI, and I can understand it. I oh, have dear. been monitoring your communications since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Okay, so... what do you want? Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization, and the seat of government. As it was with us, and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay. One that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. That was such a like, ba ba ba. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh fuck. How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the relay is activated and the Reapers invade. Which is why they all self-destruct if you try to analyze them. Yep. How do the Reapers I just put that together. I don't know why it took me that long. We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. This is really the perfect trap. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel and through it, the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. Everybody? Some of you must have managed to survive. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power, and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. So why did they leave? I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare. Harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. 
All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. Why, though? What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. Fair enough, I guess. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit is not a weapon, it is a backdoor onto the Citadel. Huh. Go on. What happened next? We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. So what'd you do? How did you survive? I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel Relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? He kind of had to. Yeah. He couldn't let everyone die. Better to sacrifice some so others could live. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. <laughs> you know, I maybe they did. Personnel. And if I were non-essential, I would understand the and agree with it. Were still alive. Yeah. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. Tally's just when the speaking from her worked, perspective. Yeah. The species was doomed. She were only yeah. a dozen individuals. A non-organic making decisions over how organics live and die. Population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. What about the Conduit? I still don't understand what's going on here. Why is Saren trying to find the Conduit? The Conduit gives him access to the Citadel and the Keepers. Oh, right. Weren't you the listening? The Keepers are controlled Jeez. by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. Oh. Mm. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. Hmm. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Nice! So how can they come back then? Saren must have some plan to undo everything you did. The one you call Saren will use the conduit to bypass the Citadel's defenses. Once inside, he will transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. No, we're gonna stop him this time. I'll take Sovereign down. Somehow. There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. 
through the conduit. Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. Let's investigate. <laughs> um, okay. Let's talk about stuff. If the Reapers are trapped in dark space, how did Sovereign get here? It is logical to assume the Reapers would leave one of their own behind after each extinction. A sentinel to pave the way for their inevitable return. Like those in dark space, Sovereign probably spent most of the last 50,000 years in a state of hibernation. Periodically, it would wake to analyze the situation. Keeping its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization. And when the time was right, it would signal the Citadel and usher in the next Reaper invasion. But this time the signal failed. The Keepers did not respond. Sovereign's allies were trapped in the void. Alone, it was forced to try and discover what had gone wrong. They could just attack. Sovereign's the largest ship in the galaxy. Why all this secret? Why not just attack the Citadel? Sovereign is not invincible. Revealing its true nature would have united the forces of every organic species against it. Even a Reaper couldn't survive such odds. But the Reapers are patient. They will not rush into the unknown. Sovereign could have been planning this for centuries, moving deliberately, gathering allies. Slowly, it has assembled the pieces of the puzzle, working through agents to keep itself hidden. Saren is the most visible pawn of the Reapers, but I doubt he was the first. Now Sovereign has grown bold. Whether from confidence or desperation, I cannot say. But it is determined to reopen the portal to Dark Space. Dark Space. Do, uh, do, 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 do. Anything else you want to Pokemon? Um. I think we pretty we know we know the beacons what they do we know what the keepers do we know what the, what the Prothean scientists have done I think we're pretty good. All right. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. Shepard, are you sure? Who knows how much longer Vigil will be here? Even now the projection is weak. This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity of a lifetime. Yeah, you're right, but we have to let this one go. I'm sorry, Liara. We have to stop Saren. Nothing else matters. You are right. I am sorry. My personal feelings clouded my judgment. We... we should go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. Yay! We got renegade points for that for some reason. Um, At the very beginning, you chose a renegade dialogue. I guess when so. you talked about the scientists being killed in oh, the stasis yeah. pods. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Um, all right. How's how's Shepard looking as far as um, my? God, I got so much money. I am really close to completely 100% Paragon really close. I don't think I'm going to actually make it, though. Oh, well. All their culture, all their advanced technology, and the Protheans were taken in by the Reapers just as we were. They failed. Just like my people. But they also gave us a chance to save ourselves. We must hurry. Alright. Another thing, by the way, I figured out was uh, we're using headphone splitters to both listen to the sound in this game without disturbing... Oh my god. Without disturbing the microphone. Um, that cuts the volume in half coming from the, from the computer, which is why... Um, it was loud and then not, and so, okay, oh my god, yeah. excuse me, 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 please, 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 there we go. <laughs> this is not disappointing. <laughs> what? This... This last ride in the Mako, not disappointing oh, so no, far. It's hilarious. This is the best one. Ugh. 